Finley in the red is going at full tilt. Uh, well, look, Finley, thank you so much for taking the time out. I know that you've obviously been very, very busy since the show. Well, I was going to say since the show aired, but have you been busy before that too? Like, what's the run-up been to your whole Gladiators experience? Um, well, the, the Gladiators experience was actually uh, pretty pretty short. Um, it was all filmed in a, a small, intense period. Although it's being aired over a number of weeks, actually, it was filmed over a number of days. So it was kind of a small blip. I did it on leave and then came straight back to work as if nothing had happened. So it just day job continues. Obviously, because for us, we see it each week imagining that you're there and then next week it'll be a, a different group of people. So all these people that are going on and either getting through or not getting through, you, you already know how this whole thing pans out and we can't bribe you at all for any spoilers. Sorry if I've just ruined the magic for you there. Uh, if, you're, <laughs> if you're following it week by week. Um, but we do know. And uh, yeah, but it, it doesn't stop the excitement for us, to be honest. I'm in touch with all the contenders we're all very close after the show and you know we're all keeping in touch each week and sharing great stories so actually it's still great fun for us i suppose the other thing i'd say is um none of us had had seen a single episode until it aired um it was turn up film and then forgotten about until now so it, it's still exciting for us what's it like watching yourself back on tv <laughs> um what's it like watching myself on tv um I, I think it, uh, it finally makes it feel a bit real. Um, it, as you can imagine, most of us on the show watched it in the 90s uh, and then suddenly we're in this strange reality where we're actually in this show which is, is just come back and, and it's almost exactly how we remember it. And then suddenly you're on TV. It's a, it's a strange progression, but actually it kind of... It makes it feel real, I'd say. I loved what you said on the show about the fact that was it you and your brother in your nan's living room, was it, acting it out years ago when you were little? Yeah, exactly, yeah, making our own uh, Eliminator assault course in my granny's living room. Um, so, yeah, I've, uh, I, I, I put it as bait for my brother. I said I'm, I, I consider myself the reigning family champion, so I had to go on TV and prove it, of course. Um, so let's see if he if he enters season two or not. And uh, it's right that you're part of two Scots, right? Obviously, you're in the military. Uh, what about your rugby career? So I don't know if rugby career is uh, is how I put it. I, I I enjoy playing rugby and have done um, throughout my time at school, university, and now uh, and more recently in the army. Uh, I'd say I'm semi-retired now. Uh, in my mid thirties, as most rugby players tend to be. Um, but I've been on some amazing uh, sport experiences with rugby. We've been all over Europe to Spain, Italy, Germany, uh, and further afield. We've been to the Dubai Rugby Sevens a couple of times with my regiment. So some great experiences in the army. Well, I know that I already mentioned this to you, but obviously the, the show that we saw last weekend, uh, The Travelator, The Ring, I was I was literally sat there watching going, that is rugby, that is, that is training. Yeah, yeah um, and... And the gauntlet as well, you know, it bursting through tackles. It's it, it all feels like rugby definitely, in my opinion, sets you in good stead. One, just generally being used to contact sports, which a lot of a lot of people aren't, and that kind of durability that comes with that. Um, but yeah, also specifically rugby. So I I thought that would give me an edge, but then um, the gladiator I was against in the ring uh, is a former England sevens player turned NFL linebacker, and he's got six inches height on me, so. Yeah, it, it it didn't play to my strength as much as it did his, but hey, we I think we gave it a good show. Well, yeah, considering right at the very end when you were up against uh, Ash when you were doing that final challenge, there was what was it a one second head start? Yeah, on the eliminator, which is yeah, I mean as good as neck and neck. Very, very good to watch. I, I can't believe that. I mean, I'm so glad I don't know about you. I'm so glad they've brought Gladiators back. It gets the adrenaline pumping while you're sat there on the sofa. <laughs> For sure. Uh, and actually, one of the nicest things, because it's been about a week since it aired now, um, one of the nicest things is all my um, friends' children, friends of family's children, I mean, children I've never even met, they're all just, you, you see little snippets and videos of them screaming at the telly, absolutely buzzing for it, <laughs> just like I was back in the day. So it's it's nice to see that it's still just as fun. Oh, I'm so happy for you because it, so, it just sounds wicked. Who are you watching the shows with, by the way? You're back on TV February 17th. Are you watching it uh, at home with family or have you got your mates coming around? And what have the reaction been from the guys you work with? Um, yeah, first one just watched uh, in the living room with my with my family, my wife and young son and some of my, my brothers and parents as well all came round and 
I, I, and most of them were on the TV at some point, you know, either the background shots of the crowd or the little backstory. So everyone was pretty excited to see themselves. Um, the, the guys at work, uh, yeah, they're uh, they're excited too. They're always asking me how was it, and they were all first thing on Monday. You know, Monday morning PT was just all trying to catch up with me about the show and giving me stick for terrible rope climbs. So. Uh, yeah, they never hold back. Yeah, the rope climb we won't talk about, but the rock climb, oh, just poof, easy. <laughs> I, I'm glad I got up and over it that time. And as I said, no spoilers, but uh, I think they saw that I made it up that time and they have they bring out the big guns on the next one um, with some pretty phenomenal gladiator climbers, so watch out. And how does the show work? Do you get to mingle with the gladiators backstage? And also the actual, obviously, you know, we're seeing some classic circuits that we saw on the show years ago and stuff, but do you get to, like, wander around first or is it literally you're going into it blind? You might know what it looks like, but no, you don't get to walk around it. What's it like? Um, so not completely blind. We had um, a few days training on, on all the equipment uh, and the sort of safety briefs and things and, and a bit of a shot. Um, but then we did it as a group of contenders, and that's one of the reasons we're, we're still all close. Um, so we kind of played gladiator contender for each other on all the different apparatus, which was good fun. Um, so we had a bit of a shot. And then, uh, yeah, backstage um, was the first time we met the gladiators just before going out. They've got their own sort of separate changing rooms, but we're just down the hall and we're seeing them passing, chatting, catching up. And yeah, they were all brilliant. Um, really great sportsmen and women. And, you know, you've got everything from Olympians to fittest men and women in UK to, you know, bodybuilders to you name it. You've got every discipline you could think of. And it, it's pretty cool to, to meet and mingle with them and compete against them yeah i bet and also you just mentioned health and safety who's worse for it who's like got more red tape the army or tv production say the military probably tv it's all about the show um yeah i think uh so as long as it's good for tv they don't mind you know it's maybe a little harsh but um yeah there was there was definitely a few injuries throughout the show both on from the gladiators and the contenders you know it is whilst it's a game show it is still really physical. You know, we're not pretending. That is everyone going full pelt on hard ground, high up apparatus, big hits. Like, we were all battered and bruised by the end. And going into the show, was there anything you thought, ah, oh, that's going to be a breeze, that one I'm going to struggle with? Where were your strengths and, and weaknesses? I mean, the ones I looked forward to, as we've spoken about rugby already, were kind of the, the ones like the gauntlet and the ring and just sort of you know, tackle on tackle, just big hits. <laughs> or as I would put it, yeah, minimum technique, maximum smash is what I was looking forward to. Um, not necessarily the best. Um, the one I definitely least like is the edge. Um, it's, it, uh, it's it's a good game and it's a good challenge, but uh, it's you just never quite get a momentum going. It's really quite awkward and nimble, and that drop is pretty big. Before the net actually takes your weight, it's a... Uh, it's a much longer fall than it looks like. Honestly, an absolute pleasure, and I wish you the best of luck. It's been great to speak to you. It's been great to watch you as well. Just really happy. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Danny. Catch Cheers. You later. Have a good one. See you later.